Okay, this is a Kodascope 8 Model 70, um, 8 millimeter film projector uh, made by Kodak, as far as we can tell, in 1937 or 1938. That would make this just over 70 years old. The camera itself is in mint condition. There is There are no flaws on this camera, on this projector, I mean. It's not a camera. Um, the cord, the paint... The, how it works, everything is in uh, complete mint condition. All right, now we're going to come around and show you the other items. The thing that makes this a little bit different from the others that I've seen is the case. If you look at this case, it's in near mint condition. It's got very, very minor scuffs on the outside. And if you know anything about leather, those are very easy to, to uh, remove. On the inside, you've got some minor stains which I've left a person could choose to either remove those stains themselves with something like resolve and a vacuum cleaner or a, a stiff brush I've chosen not to do that or I'll take it and have it done professionally um, we're gonna list this on eBay it also comes with four home movies from somebody named Newton J. Bell the Fourth, and it's got an address from from Montgomery, Alabama. And we haven't looked it up on uh, MapQuest or anything yet, but that'd be interesting to do. As far as we could tell, that person appeared to be the person that was running the camera appeared to be a fireman or a policeman, and he loved recording his kid. All four of these tapes are color, and they're about his child. Um, included is a Woody Woodpecker film from Castle Films. Can you scoot over a little bit so they can get some light on it? Scoot over a little bit. Okay. It comes with a spare bulb, which has not been tested, and I'm not going to pull the camera apart to, uh, to test it. Um, and it comes with a mint condition, how to use your Kodoscope 8 Model 70 uh, manual. So what I'm going to do next is uh, show you how to set up the uh, movie for a film. Um, it's got it comes with this this bottom reel, and this is the Woody Woodpecker film. You want to thread your film through and spin it around until you got a little bit of tension, and uh, then you, then you want to thread it through the mechanisms here. And on the uh, outside of the film, if you come in real, a little bit closer, Mona. You can see that there are square holes, and you'll see why those are there in just a moment. So what we want to do is take some slack like this, and then thread through the top. Pull the slack. You want slack on the top here. Put that down. And then come around. We want slack on the bottom without the slack on the top and the bottom of this portion of the mechanism um, it, it doesn't work the film jumps around and starts making a clacking noise and it just doesn't work so we want the slack and I'm actually even going to take a little bit more slack all right that should be enough now okay and from there you turn it on um, come back here. Let me see if I can get some more light. I think that's about all we're going to get. This is the speed knob. Slow is counterclockwise and fast is clockwise. The motor starts with one click and the motor and the lamp starts with two clicks. And if you notice on the cord, there's an on off also on the cord. So you want to make sure that's on before you flip it over or it just won't work okay this is how you adjust the focus right here this lens push it back and forth we've already got it adjusted uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and show you that it works and Mona's gonna show you that, he, that the camera first that it's working can you move over a little bit so the light will come in through the door okay and if you see the slack stays on the top and the bottom can you see the slack right there in there Without that, it doesn't work properly. Now I'm going to turn on the light, and you see, go ahead and get nice and close to that. 
There's your movie. Yeah, okay, you hear that jumping? The slack, come back here and show them. The slack is, is moving. If you notice on the top, the slack has changed and it was jumping. And if it gets any tighter, it will it will just start jumping around. All you gotta do is stop the movie and put the slack in there again. So that's it. This is our Kodoscope we're putting on uh, eBay. We would love to keep it. Um, we've been having fun with playing with the films and all that. Like I said, this thing is um, over 70 years old. It was built in 37 or 38. It is the original model. Some people refer to it as a, a Model 70A. There is no A in the nomenclature, so I'm not going to refer to it as that. And uh, Anyway, it would make it a great item to put in a museum if you're a collector. It's a mint condition uh, projector. And... If you've got any questions, please feel free to contact us and let us know what your questions are. Alright, so thanks a lot for looking. Bye for now.